Welcome to this quick start video tutorial on the Datasift platform. This is part one of two parts. The tutorial walks you through creating a filter to provide a real-time stream of social interactions relating to the Starbucks brand. Open datasift.com in a web browser and log into your account. Datasift is a single platform with access to a large number of social media data sources. You need to enable one or more data sources before writing a filter. In this example, we'll enable Twitter. Click the Data Sources tab to see all possible sources. Notice which sources are currently inactive. Locate the Twitter source and click Activate. Pause this video and complete the license page. Select the box to agree to the terms and conditions of the license agreement, read the terms of the license and click continue if you agree. With the form complete, click agree. When a summary of the source is displayed, click on the data sources tab again. Check which augmentations are already enabled. Augmentations are shown with a purple tag. They are the extra information about the interaction added by the Datasiv platform to give context to the message. You may need to sign a license for some of these. Now you've enabled a Twitter data source, you can create a new stream. Click the Streams tab and click the Create Stream button. Give your new stream a name, I'm going to call mine Starbucks Filter. You can add a description if you want to. There are two choices of editor, the Query Builder or CSDL Editor. Query Builder is a browser-based tool that allows you to create and edit filters without having to learn the Datasift Curated Stream Definition Language, or CSDL. I'm going to use Query Builder. Select it and click Start Editing. Query Builder opens with no filters, so click Create New Filter. The top row displays sources. Select the Twitter icon to use the Twitter source. The next row of choices opens with lots of Twitter information types. To filter on the message of a tweet, click the Tweet icon. Now we can type in a word to filter for. I'm going to use the word Starbucks, it's not case sensitive. I'll leave the operator as Contains Words. This will match every tweet which has the word Starbucks anywhere in the tweet message. When you're finished, click Save and Preview. The Starbucks stream now contains one filter which matches Starbucks in the tweet text from Twitter. Click Save and Close. A summary of the configured stream is showing along with the cost in data processing unit hours. From the buttons shown, click Live Preview and we'll see who's talking about Starbucks on Twitter. In the summary of sources, check that Twitter is listed and click the Play button. Within a couple of seconds, interactions will start appearing. When a few interactions have appeared in the preview, click the pause button. Let's have a closer look at the interactions we filtered. Each interaction is displayed along with augmentations. In this example, the icons under the text show the user is female and has a clout score of 40. For more detailed information, mouse over the tweet and click the bug which appears. The debug window shows the tweet data and all the extra augmented data provided by the Datasift platform. Well done, you've successfully configured a filter which is providing a stream of tweets about Starbucks. In part two, we'll create multiple filters, looking at the context of the interactions as well as the content.